thanks for joining me as I travel the world, going from fine dining through to street food and local specialties, all in an effort to find the world's best seafood. In this episode, I'm on the hunt for the famous South Korean octopus sashimi, so fresh that it's still moving. <laughs> One of the few meals that actually puts up a fight. Hey folks, I'm in Myeongdong in Seoul, South Korea. It looks like daytime, but it's actually night. They've got the heavy lights on here. This is a really busy shopping district. I came here a year or two ago and tried a fantastic seafood barbecue place. I'm now going to go and see if I can find it again from memory and show you some of their specialties. If you ever get to South Korea, make sure you check out Myeongdong. It's super touristy, but there is great stuff to see there and loads of great restaurants. Okay, this looks really familiar. Um, I remember there was an Outback Steakhouse nearby. From memory, there's two shops nearby with the same logo, but it's one on the corner with outdoor seating I need. That's it, seafood restaurant Joggabi, but that's the not the right one, it must be down here. Last time I came, it took us ages to get a table. It's Saturday night on a public holiday long weekend, so hopefully I'm beating the crowd. And the line. Okay, so taking a look, this is one of the really famous dishes in Korea. I'm sure people have heard of it. It's not actually live squid, but they kill it so quickly and bring it out that it's still kicking. They also have the crab, clams. Oh, here we go. Maybe he's the one for me. We've got all kinds of pippies and clams, giant scallops. Take a look. This looks like the business, folks. Oh, and there's our little octopus friend. Okay, this is ringing all kinds of memory bells. So they've got steamed or grilled. I am a big fan of grilled when it's done so well. So I'm thinking, well, let's have a look. Here I'm mixing up the real, almost national drink, draft beer and soju, which is like Korean sake. You normally pour a shot in, you can see I misjudged the size of the shot there and had to polish it off, but it's delicious and it can pack quite a kick. As much as I would love to get a king crab, it's about 200 US dollars for one, two kilos, pretty expensive. So I guess we're gonna stick with some smaller dishes. Okay, I have no idea how big things are gonna be, but I'm gonna go for a medium grilled shellfish. That should have a mix of all the shells and prawns. And then if they can do a small one, the raw octopus sashimi, you guys gotta see this. Okay, okay. So finally I went for the large. I'm glad I did, it doesn't look that large. Uh, this one has no shrimp, no prawns. No, no. The large doesn't, only the seafood platter. Uh, large only flat. Okay, what is in, what's extra in the seafood platter? Large, large, okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I won't complain about that. So straight off the bat, there's a couple of different scallops here. They look like they've been dressed in white wine, but these ones are garlic and shallot. This one's got a different kind of dressing. This one's got carrot on there, so at least two different kinds. And over here we've got the big clams. That one's a garlic and shallot. Actually, all of those ones look the same. This one's in like a corn mayonnaise. A bunch of these little guys. Here's the big ones, unseasoned to be barbecued. And then this is the giant arc shell. It's like a scallop, but a huge one. Um, and here we go, here's our squid. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the famous dish. 
Now, I have to stress, they're cured as per normal, but they just brought out so quickly that they're still moving. The head is... Yeah. yeah. The, the legend goes that you need to chew them really well, otherwise there's a chance that you'll get choked. And it's true, the little tentacles will... Look at that, they're, they're grabbing on. Okay. Now, I've had this before, and I actually like it, but it is trippy that they're, um, they're still moving and they're still sucking on the inside of your mouth. Now, they'll, soon enough, they'll stop moving, but just let me give you a demo. Okay? You can see they really still want to move around. <laughs> you want to try it? Please, you can. Yeah, do you want some soy sauce? No, uh, it's okay. Let's try it. I'd come to Korea and not try it. Chew it very well. My Hong Kong Pang Yao. Oh, this one's really biting hard. Look, it's good. I know it's not for everyone, but it's kind of a must have if you come to somewhere like this. One of the few meals that actually puts up a fight. Okay, back to the main attraction. You can put sauce onto any of these guys if you want. You don't need to, but I don't think it's a bad idea. So the guy recommends using it with this salted sesame oil instead of the soy sauce. Let's try this big one. Okay, now serving up all the scallops. So I thought that this large one would come with all kinds of seafood, but it's just different kinds of clams. You can see there's the giant Japanese style one, the traditional scallop, some different uh, clams and stuff on the side there. So I went ahead and ordered a plate of grilled prawns, but little did I know there was loads more clams and shelled things on their way. So here you can see with all the clams on how they open and move around, it's a bad sign if when you're cooking a clam it doesn't open, it suggests that the muscle may have gone bad. But here you can see they're all moving nice and clearly. And the top shot, you can see it were, there was no shortage of food considering they've already taken the scallops out, huh? So the service was great, they kept coming and serving everything up, moving it all around. You really didn't have to know what you were doing in terms of cooking the seafood and it was all ready to eat at the perfect time. It was really well cooked. So check this out, I was talking about the muscle memory of these squid. <coughs> these have well and truly gone to sleep with a little bit of a shake and they wake back up. So um, it shows you that the squid sashimi you may have eaten in the past is not that fresh. This is half an hour old and you give it a shake and it still grabs a hold of your chopstick like it wants to fight you. So as I like to tell myself, there's a lot of shell and not that much seafood in these things. So after I powered through all of that, finished it off, they took the charcoals away, put the cover back on and then out came the prawns. So I powered my way through them as well and if you've never had prawns that are grilled like this, don't be shy to eat the legs and parts of the shell and most of the head. It's all edible once it's, if it's fresh and it's been well cooked like that. So what's the damage? With several drinks, all the food and tax all added together, it came to 131,000 Korean won, which is like 112 US dollars. Not too bad for such a fantastic meal and several rounds of drinks. Please do click the like and subscribe to tune in and see my future adventures all in search of the world's best seafood.